Uh, how about another mm. tune there, Carly? Sounds good. Well, we'll um, we'll try this one. This isn't one of our new ones. It'll be on the record, and uh, y'all are some of the first ones to hear it. Um, All right. This is the one I was telling you about. Daniel and I wrote last May, just with both of us working from home. And um, sometimes when you work from home, it's hard to know when to quit, especially when he's, you know. He's working in his back room and getting all his leather stuff worked out. Sometimes he'll work till 9 or 10 o'clock. And I'm like, are you coming to bed? Like, it's getting late. And uh, so it just kind of talks about getting overwhelmed with um, everything that you're doing at home and just getting in the car and chasing the sunset. So that's, it's called Chasing Indigo. Yep. Your thoughts are burning bright And I look at you And I see right through your tired eyes when Golden green turned to indigo An invitation to see the night Bestowing brand new memories so won't you come with me into the gloom? This twilight scene is beckoning So let's find somewhere to go Down an endless road Chasing indigo Cause these moments are few and far between to step out of this same routine and take it slow, chasing indigo. Overwhelmed by so many details, take my hand, let your train of thought derail for a little while. Let me see that smile I love so well And we'll fix our eyes on purple skies Let's find somewhere to go Down an endless road Chasing indigo Cause these moments are few and far between To step out of this same routine Take it slow, chasing indigo Look around, we're beautifully surrounded Twilight song lingers on Wild and free, so deep and disclosing Like a memory that's just beyond our home Let's find somewhere to go Down an endless road Chasing indigo To step out of this same routine And take it slow Chasing indigo Chasing Chasing indigo That's a brand new tune from Carly Air with Chasing Indigo. I like that. Here on WNCW, we're live in Studio B on a Saturday afternoon. Man, I'm already looking forward to the new album after hearing that. <laughs> we are too. We're so excited. We had um, we had to add a dobro in the uh, in, uh, on the actual album, so we had Jeff Parton come in and, oh. and play dobro, and uh, awesome. he actually was playing bass too. Paul wasn't able to be with us, and um, so we're just 
very excited. And we also had Tony Creaseman playing drums as well. So, Oh, some drums on there, huh? A little bit, yeah. Oh. Mm. Progressive. <laughs> yeah, a little progressive on you. <laughs> well, you know, people say that, but they forget, you know, the snare drum that Flat and Scruggs had and, and, yeah, and some of the others, you know, mm. uh, and Jim and Jesse and the bunch. That's right. You know, so, hey. Yep. But looking forward to hearing it all, Thank the you. whole uh, the whole album, and I know y'all will rush it to me. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I wanted to comment. Um, I've I've loved uh, what you all have put out from uh, Bluegrass at the Crossroads. Yes. The work y'all have done on yeah. on those collaborations. Mm -hmm. You put all that talent together, man. You're gonna put great songs out. It's crazy. It's like you they just put you in there with people you've never played with before, but everybody's just able to jump in and. I mean, it's wild. I, I mean, we, I don't know. It's kind of like when you're jamming and everybody knows the same songs and the same chords and mm -hmm. you don't, you just don't think about it because you're used to it. But you get in there with like Sammy Sheeler and Wayne Benson. And it's like, man, this is cool. You get a little star truck, <laughs> a little star truck maybe. I know. Yeah. It's like you grow up listening to these guys and then they shove you in the studio with them. So you're like, oh my gosh, I'm playing with them. <laughs> You know, uh, and they're just people like we are. You oh, know? sure, they're awesome. So yeah, yeah, but that's they a lot are of fun. But what a what a uh, what a corral of talent there at Crossroads. It's, it's, it's wild. all y'all. <laughs> I mean, it's just amazing. And uh, song after song came mm -hmm. out, and I was just like, another good song, another good song. <laughs> what is this? What's happening? <laughs> so, and and how were a lot of those made? Was that some of those were during the time? You know, mm -hmm. when we couldn't go into. <laughs> Was a lot of it done, you know, remotely in pieces and things like that? No, Zoom or um, whatever? We, we actually would get together, but we would, you know, we would wear our, our mask and stuff. And then um, I think eventually it just kind of lifted, so everybody yeah. was all right. But, yeah, we just got together and played music. Just that's, like nothing ever happened. That's so. what it's all about. It is. Yep. And that's a, you, you've done that, and I bet the both of you have done it pretty much your whole life. You know, you've been singing since before it was before Since you we, could talk? Before we started playing, we were singing in church. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and and probably when you started talking, you were <laughs> you were singing. I'm sure. I don't know about all that. but yeah. <laughs> go back to the home videos on that one. I know. We'd have to find Ooh, some stuff. <laughs> send me a couple of those. <laughs> <laughs> get in there. <laughs> and speaking of church, um, Daniel, I, I you know met your parents back mm -hmm. when I first met you and the band uh, a few years back. How are they doing? They doing well. Yep, Dad's still pastoring in Mount Ulla, and Mom is just faithful minister's wife, and um, mm -hmm. they're they're actually uh, somewhat empty nesters now. My brother just got married last uh, couple weeks ago. Last couple weeks ago, wow. My sister's uh, working with our state magazine and. Greensboro, and um, so yeah, they're they're kind of just loving loving life by themselves now, and <laughs> but they're busier than honestly than uh, yeah, <laughs> than when we were there. Probably. So, yeah. so yeah, they're doing well. Well, y'all living closer to them, or back down this way, or somewhere completely different. <laughs> we're about in between. We're in between. Yeah, we're in Newton, so it's just south of Hickory, and um, okay, it there near my grandparents and um, sweet little house down there. So. Yep. All right. Not in Rock Barn, huh? Not in Rock Barn, no. Because we make Close. we make tens of dollars in bluegrass, right? That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a nice area, though. It I've is. got a cousin lives up there, loves it. Just yep. been there for years and years. Mm -hmm. It is a nice area. A lot of farmland. I grew up. Well, we both grew up kind of rurally, so it's yep. a kind of a rem reminiscent of home, I guess. So. Well, I guess since I've mentioned some of the stuff you guys are doing, everybody has surmised that you all are active on social media so they can <laughs> keep up with you there. Yeah. Um, and you have uh, Carly Airwood Music website too, mm -hmm. right? Just carlyairwoodmusic.com. Yep. So, we yeah. got all our tour dates and um, some merchandise and music to listen to and videos to watch and all that fun stuff. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and again, uh, let's see, tonight it's at Union Mills Learning Center. It's mm -hmm. 7. 7 o'clock. And if you want a hot dog, you come at six. <laughs> Man, I ain't never turned a hot dog down in my whole life. That's like me turning down sausage gravy. You know, know and just, you just don't, you just not gonna do it. Uh, but You're see, gonna make these guys hungry. I'm gonna have to take them to get some food. <laughs> yeah, I can see it in their eyes already. Well, all right. So dinner and a show tonight with Carly Arrowwood. That's right. And her band, and then tomorrow night up in Stokes County. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow at three o'clock. Three in the afternoon. Yep. All right, cool. And uh, you know, I'll be watching out for future shows, but I know you're you're going to be slowing down as you get ready to welcome mm -hmm. this new family member. Just a little bit. Yeah, we've got a show in April, and uh, 
a couple in May and Yep, down in, in Lancaster will be yep. in May. I think May fourth and fifth, possibly or third and fourth. Ooh. Maybe fifth and sixth. Fifth and sixth. Okay. I, I think it it's is a Friday and, and Saturday. But, uh, we're whatever playing the first it's a uh, sportsman's banquet down there. So I'm sure there'll be tickets. We'll probably share the links on the website mm-hmm. and um so yeah, we'll be down there. So if people want to come and uh, hear some music and hear some good stuff at a sportsman's banquet mm-hmm. and probably some fantastic food as probably well. So. Yeah. Probably so. Yeah. Probably, yeah. And I know well, you'll be keeping close eye on her and make <laughs> make sure because, I mean, you get We're going to be cutting it close there. Yeah. Um, I know. You know, we're not too far away from home, so we'll be all right. I think we'll, we'll be all right. The Lord, the Lord knows. So. <laughs> That's right. Well, yeah. well um, let me ask, and, and this is, a, you know, a cliche question, I'm sure, but um, and maybe you don't want to reveal it, and if you don't, that's fine. <laughs> Are you all still considering names, or have you already picked out, and we, do you want to share? We have it picked out. Um, do you want to share? We can. You don't have to. I think. Hmm. <laughs> we have shared it. Um but we weren't going to reveal it on, like, social media until after she was born. Okay. I've had some people kind of post it without my permission oh. <laughs> in the past few months, so I don't know if I should say anything yet well, or not. But Like um, I say, if you don't want to share it, that's fine. <laughs> but I'm obligated as a member of the media to ask. You need oh, that. Absolutely. You need that WNCW exclusive. He is does. What you need. I know. We'll have to bring her back when, when she How gets here, yeah. and we'll, we'll tell the story. That's that, that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Her story, I'm telling you what, the Lord worked all of that out, and it hit me like a ton of bricks a couple of weeks ago, and y'all just have to stay tuned because I'm going to post all about it on Facebook when she gets here, but that's all I'll say about that. <laughs> Joyful tears and everything? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It, it was wild, but anyway, I know I ran out of time, so I don't have time to tell that story. Right <laughs>